ever wondered what happens when duty and desire collide? The Bhagavad Gita, a 700-verse Hindu scripture, explores this very question. Today, we delve into this timeless tale, examining its profound insights and teachings. Our story begins on the battlefield of Kurukshetra, where two mighty armies stand ready for war. On one side we have the Pandavas, five noble brothers who stand for righteousness. On the other side we have the Kauravas, a group of 100 brothers led by the power-hungry Duryodhana. In the midst of this great war, Arjuna, the finest warrior of the Pandavas, finds himself in a moral dilemma. He hesitates, seeing his relatives, teachers and loved ones on the opposite side. Torn between duty and compassion, Arjuna considers dropping his weapons and renouncing the war. It's at this crucial juncture that Krishna, Arjuna's charioteer and the incarnation of the divine, steps in. What follows is a conversation that transcends time and space, a dialogue that forms the essence of the Bhagavad Gita. Krishna counsels Arjuna, navigating him through this ethical labyrinth with wisdom and understanding. He unravels the nature of life and death, duty and righteousness, the self and the divine. Krishna guides Arjuna to realize that his duty, his dharma, is to fight, not out of desire for victory, but as a commitment to uphold justice. The Bhagavad Gita teaches us about karma yoga, the path of selfless action. Krishna advises Arjuna to perform his duty without attachment to the results. It's not the outcome that matters, but the intention and effort put into the action. The scripture also explores bhakti yoga, the path of devotion. Krishna reveals his divine form to Arjuna, demonstrating that faith leads to divine vision and ultimate liberation. Finally, there's Janana Yoga, the path of knowledge. Krishna explains that the soul is eternal, it neither kills nor can it be killed. Understanding this helps Arjuna overcome his fear of death and loss. In essence, the Bhagavad Gita is a guide to life. It teaches us to balance our duties and desires, to act without attachment to outcomes, to seek knowledge, and to cultivate devotion. It encourages us to face our battles, not with fear or greed, but with a sense of duty, righteousness, and selfless action. To sum up, we've journeyed through the battlefield of Kurukshetra, witnessed Arjuna's moral dilemma, and delved into Krishna's profound teachings. We've explored Karma Yoga, Bhakti Yoga, and Janana Yoga. We've discovered that the Bhagavad Gita is not just a story about a great war, but a guide to life, offering timeless wisdom for balancing duty and desire. So, the next time you find yourself at a crossroads, remember the Bhagavad Gita. Remember that every choice is an opportunity to uphold your dharma, to act selflessly, to seek knowledge, and to cultivate devotion. Remember that life is a battlefield, and you are your own warrior, armed with the wisdom of the Bhagavad Gita. After all, as Krishna tells Arjuna, you have the right to perform your prescribed duties, but you are not entitled to the fruits of your actions. Isn't that a powerful way to live?